Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Let's Play of The Lies of P. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we're going to take on our first boss. But before we do, let's go ahead and talk about everything I did off screen. And really, all I did was farm up a bunch of Ergo. I was almost about to say uh, Ruins. That's Elden Ring. So, I also went ahead and bought the two swords from that merchant. And I also went ahead and bought as many of these electric blitz things in the throwing cells. Let's go ahead and level up. Gonna put that to 10. Actually, we'll put these to 11 and the rest will be in 10. That's as far as we can go. Apparently you can only level up so much before you get to the hotel crap. Out here alone? This is everything I bought. I didn't buy the puppet saber blade because we already have it. So I didn't figure we needed it. Maybe we will later on. I don't know, but I'm not even going to bother buying it. All right, let's uh, take on this boss. Can I not block that? I don't think I can block that. Yeah, I can't block that. So we get the parade leaders ergo and some quartz.
Thought he was going to get up there for a second. By the way, the Fable Catalyst can refill your Fable Arts. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and put that in our upper belt. I guess you can only carry three at a time. One more thing I should mention. The hotel security excludes puppets like you. So you'll have to lie to get inside. You're a special puppet after all. I'm just going to look around here just so I don't miss any items that may be laying about. Hidden moonstones are how you upgrade your weapon. Welcome to the sanctuary of the Grand Covenant. Prove your identity. Who are you? Grand Covenant's fourth floor. A puppet cannot lie. Welcome to Hotel Crot. 
am so happy to see you. I am Sophia. I've been waiting for you. Searched all over the city of Krop to find you. You must have questions. Geppetto will have answers. But we have to find him first. He was last seen on Elysian Boulevard. All of Krot is dangerous for humans, and that neighborhood is one of the scariest. Please find Geppetto on Elysian Boulevard. I'll explain more once you find him. Now we have to level up at Sophia. We can no longer level up at the Stargazers. We can get three more levels. Mm. Don't know if I want capacity any higher, to be honest. We're going to hold off on capacity just for a little bit. If I need it uh, bumped up a little more, I'll do that later. For now, we're just going to focus on mm, vitality. Vigor and motivity and technique. Look at Gemini. I think he's in shock. Gemini is fine. That's proof you're broken. The real Gemini isn't so calm. I'm no inventor. But perhaps I can fix him. Or perhaps he'll fix himself in time. Wait. Take this pocket watch. Krat is a labyrinth of peril right now. This watch will guide you to a safe place. Be careful, clever one. Moon phase pocket watch? Let's see what that's all about real quick. Where would I even find that? Oh, I got a ring I didn't, or a frame. It looks like a ring, but I got a frame that I didn't equip. I should probably do that. Oh, there's the pocket watch. Oh, okay. Teleport to hotel or last stargazer used. Hmm. That's interesting. A pocket watch imbued with mystical power. The power of the watch turns back time to when the boy was in peak condition. Let's put it on down here, just in case we need it. And then we can unequip that. Put that over there. Let's go talk to some people. Let's see if Sophia's got anything to say. I'll use my power to help you. Ergo is the miracle that made Krat prosper. Without Ergo, there would be no automated puppets to make Krat wealthy. When you move, you tap into the power of Ergo within you. Gather more Ergo. It will make you stronger. In the folklore of Krat, a cricket often acts as a guide. That is why these automated models became popular. But Gemini is unique. He's more than just a guide. As you get more familiar with Gemini, you'll see what I mean. There's a lady over here. I think over here is just training. Yeah, this is just training.
We're gonna talk to this nice lady first. I heard about you from Geppetto, but to see you in person, wow. You should take this. Geppetto left it with me. This puppet string is so cool. It's like you're a puppet scorpion. You can shoot it at robots and pull them to you. The sound of it alone. That craftsmanship comes only from the hands of Geppetto. You must be something else. A custom arm from Geppetto himself is quite an accessory. Oh. I forgot to introduce myself. I am Eugenie from the Workshop Union. I know my way around weapons of all kinds. I'm sure Master Geppetto would agree. If any of your weapons need work, bring them to me. I know my way around a weapon. Want me to look at something? Um, let's talk to her first. A stargazer is a survival device used by the stalkers. It powers itself by accumulating and absorbing ergo spores in the air. The stalkers installed stargazers all across the city. Once they're recovered, we can put them to use. If you want to test your skills or try new techniques, head for the garden. The stalkers captured a puppet to use for training. Don't look at me like that. Everyone hates puppets. I know whose side you're on. I don't know if we have enough to upgrade our weapon. We only have one moonstone. Oh, and that's all we need? Sure, why not? Can't really alter our weapons at the moment, or handles as they say, because we don't have any of these cranks. Seeing this cat in the background. Ooh, doesn't like me. It's about to scratch my face off, yo. Was it uh, Figaro? Was Figaro the cat or was it the fish? No, Figaro, I think, was the cat. There was a fish, too. I mean, that's the Disney's version of uh, Pinocchio, but I'm just saying, it reminds me a little bit of it. Let's talk to this robot here. Welcome to Hotel Crop. My name is Polandina, butler to Lady Antonia. Please let me know how I may be of service. At Hotel Crot, comfort and calm walk hand in hand. Welcome to Hotel Crot. How may I be of service? Oh, he's a vendor too? I didn't realize that. Let's talk to him a little bit. The Grand Covenant is a set of absolute commands imprinted on puppets when they are made. First law. All puppets must obey their creator's commands. Second law. A puppet may not harm humans. Third law. A puppet protects and serves humans and the city of Krat. Fourth law. A puppet cannot lie. I've told you about the laws engraved upon every puppet. Do you require anything else? Nope. We don't have any records in our possession, but I think we can get one 
from a lady doing a side quest in the next area. But we'll have to see if that's still in the game or not. It was in the demo, but that doesn't mean that she'll still be there. Unexpected guests are welcome. We don't insist on reservations. I am Antonia, and this is my hotel. Welcome. Oh, I knew from the moment we met the Georgia Petto's puppet. He might have a few loose screws, but Geppetto's skills are undiminished. It's a shame. He took off for Elysian Boulevard, and he never came back. If it doesn't turn up soon, we'll have to make a new coffin. <laughs> oh, I forgot. I was keeping this for him. It comes with a long story. But I think it's better off with you. Please find that old man. And do take care of yourself out there. I think we can get some dialogue from her. If we wear that and talk to her. I think I did that uh, when I played the demo. We'll just have to see. People have no idea so many secrets are buried in crowd. Thanks for keeping me company. What are you curious about? I see you're here. That means you can lie. Your lies are a rare ability. You're able to choose your own path, unbound by anything. People on the outside are still afraid of puppets. Lie to protect yourself and find your path. I'm an old friend of Geppetto's. His son is like family to me. Make yourself at home. You're always welcome here at the hotel. If you have any questions, ask my butler, Polandina. I guess not. I thought, and well, I mean, let's be honest, things do change. It was a demo, not the full game. So investigate this piano. Oh, we can perform? Yes, please. I think his name is Venini. You don't pronounce the G. I think it's Venini. But it's, I'm going to let everybody read this on their own time. If you want to pause it, you can. I want to try to talk to her one more time just to see if she has any new dialogue. Maybe it's because I'm wearing the glasses too. I don't see why that would matter, but. Oh, I can just unequip it like that. People have no thanks for keep. Let me try one more thing. I'm going to try to rest at this stargazer. Okay, yeah, we can teleport now as well. We can switch out our legion arm, but we only have one legion arm, so... And I don't know if there's... Well, obviously there is other ones, but I don't know what they are.
Let's try. I'm guessing that this must have been her a while ago. In her youth. People have no thanks for keep. Nope. Alright, I'm gonna put our suave outfit back on. Our potter clothes. Let's go upstairs and see if there's anything of importance up here. Broken rail. I believe this is where Geppetto, once we find him, goes. And then this is where we need to go. I don't see anything that we can get. I have a feeling we're going to be able to get up there eventually. Let's go through this door. Let's be more careful. Ah, the Black Rabbit Brotherhood. I hate these guys. But don't be alarmed. My name is Gemini. We'll talk later when we're safe. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over to this stargazer. And then we're going to end the video. I think we're going to go back just a little bit because there's some enemies. Maybe we'll uh, step in the spotlight right here. And this is... Uh, no. <laughs> we won't end the video right there. But we will end it right here. This looks like a good spot. Alright everybody, I want to start by telling you all thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, Hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, good afternoon, or good night. Whatever time it may be in your part of the world, Mr. John Wayne, signing off.